Cloudcast Media presents from the massive studios in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video we're going to talk about hybrid cloud and really the, the evolution of hybrid cloud. Uh, we talked about hybrid cloud a long time ago in an early basics video, but the technology's evolved, the marketplace has evolved, and that means good things in terms of what are possible for IT organizations and businesses, but it also can mean confusion in terms of what does all this new stuff mean and, and what does your hybrid mean and my hybrid mean. And So we want to kind of walk through uh, what's evolved and also you know, what's happened from a technology perspective that can give you new possibilities but also maybe confuse you a little bit. So, you know, back when people first started talking about hybrid cloud, it really was always kind of combined private resources or private cloud, your own data center if you will, with a public cloud, you know, sort of one public cloud and give yourself, you know, a hybrid environment which really meant you know, some, pi some public resources and some private resources and somehow you're going to manage the two between them and that was going to give you the best of everything. Now, where that's kind of evolved to, and we've seen some people say, hey, that's, that's my hybrid environment. What we've really seen this evolve to is a couple of different things. We've seen a set of tools begin to come along that allows us to have visibility across multiple clouds. We've seen some evolution of APIs that allow us to have compatibility between clouds. But we've also started to see people start to say, you know, my hybrid environment doesn't involve private anything. It's really interconnecting multiple public clouds. That's their version of a hybrid. So we're beginning to see, you know, some, some varying definitions. It could mean private and public. It could mean public and public. Um, the other thing we're starting to see is, like we said, we're seeing an evolution of tools. Tools that are going to give us visibility across multiple cloud environments. Tools that talk the language of the API of an OpenStack cloud or an AWS cloud or a VMware cloud or some other set of APIs. And those are all good things. They're giving customers flexibility. And if we think about why people, why companies are starting to want to use hybrid clouds, are, are evolving hybrid clouds, it really kind of falls into these categories. They want multiple clouds for risk mitigation. They want multiple clouds for geographic location. You know, the laws in Europe are different than the laws in the United States versus the laws in, in Asia. Um, they want to be able to migrate applications. They might want to have one cloud for dev and test because of cost or because of uh, speed of deployment or services. They may want another cloud for their mission critical applications uh, because of performance or compliance reasons. They may want other clouds simply for geographic reasons. It's close to where uh, a large number of their customers are or their customer base. Um, we're seeing them want to use it for location reasons. So we see a number of companies who want to have data in one location, back it up to another location, and they use the public cloud or another cloud for DR or for backup reasons. And they'll, they'll think of that as a hybrid type of environment. We also see people that want to have hybrid for multiple cost points. This one costs, you know, two cents an hour and 10 cents an hour and 20 cents an hour. They get different services out of them. Or they may simply want them for agility. They know how long it takes to deploy services private versus in public, and they can offer different type of options and services to the different groups within their company. Now, that all sounds great, and that's really the evolution of where hybrid's going. Uh, and let's not forget also, you know, you have things like SaaS out here, SaaS applications that can be part of your overall strategy. Now, you have to get into how are we getting to hybrid cloud? What are people doing? What technologies are available? Some companies are offering the ability to, to take a virtual machine uh, in a private environment or any cloud environment and be able to logically migrate that, you know, physically move it, migrate it. It doesn't have to be live necessarily, but you can take a common image, a common uh, way of dealing with something, move it to another environment. That's one way of doing it. We're starting to see companies that have these centralized dashboards that via APIs can talk to lots of different clouds and they're being able to do that and so the hybrid piece of it really becomes this centralized tool set gives visibility across a hybrid set of resources. We see some companies that are taking that same VM and they want to encapsulate it into sort of an abstraction layer if you will and that abstraction layer that encapsulation is you know what the native things look like in a cloud environment. So it could be an Amazon API, AMI, or it could be an OpenStack way of, of putting together an image or a unit or an instance. Um, and so they're basically saying, take what you have today, don't change it in any way, wrap this encapsulation around it, and then you can move that potentially back and forth. The other things to really consider come down to things like 
do you need common APIs? And there's a lot of discussion about, you know, should the Amazon API be the common API? Should the OpenStack APIs be the common one? Or are people going to have to plan to have a set of tools that talk multiple APIs? Right now, we don't have compatibility between a lot of the different cloud implementations, whether it's VMware, OpenStack, CloudStack, Amazon. Um, so right now, you know, the feeling is you're going to need some set of tools that if you want to leverage multiple clouds, you're going to need that to talk to multiple clouds. And the other thing that's kind of evolving, moving quickly and getting better, is still, do I need common technology, common cloud technology between a private environment or multiple clouds? So for example, if I want to deploy OpenStack, do I need the same vendor's distribution of OpenStack here and here? Uh, you know, if I'm running a, looking at a VMware environment, do I need the same version of vSphere or something? And we still have some level of compatibility that works great and some level of compatibility that's still kind of working through um, you know, what's going on there. You've got some vendors that only offer public cloud implementation, others that only really offer private. How do you interconnect those two things? Maybe it's an API thing, maybe it's getting compatible technology. And so companies are still having to work through those types of things. They have to make some long-term decisions. If they want a hybrid environment that gives them all of these things, you know, how do I work through the ways to deliver those hybrid capabilities? So hopefully that clears up some things around hybrid, where it's evolved from a technology perspective and a market perspective. Thanks for listening.